I'm David Pakman in Denver, Colorado at the National Conference for Media Reform. I'm here with Jean-Philippe Tremblay, director of Shadows of Liberty. Six years to produce, um, censorship, corporate control of media. What, are, what was the impetus for, for working on this film? Well, uh, we wanted to make a film uh, with Doc Factory and the Bertha Foundation about uh, what matters most to people. Uh, the, the, the goal of our independent media uh, organization is to uh, investigate and research subjects that are most important to people, to the mass population. And uh, during our research, we came upon uh, uh, a book by an amazing American journalist. Uh, his name is Ben Bigdikian. He wrote uh, a book entitled uh, The New Media Monopoly. And the new media monopoly uh, looks at uh, uh, American uh, media and says uh, that uh, five corporations uh, control most of the, the media in the United States and around the world. So th by looking at this, uh, it was clear to us that media is the most uh, important subject for, for everyone because no matter what you're interested about, whether it's environment or politics or, or uh, uh, business or culture, we learn about that through the media. So it's important to really know where the media comes from, uh, that most of it is controlled by these conglomerates, and their bottom line is profit. So what we get is uh, a lot of stories, a lot of news stories that are uh, full of uh, propaganda, lies, distortion, and that's what we've investigated in the film. So I think a lot of people understand, this, or they've at least heard about, this idea that these five big corporations control most media. Yeah. But for people who aren't making the connection directly to what is the downside, how, are, how is the average media consumer negatively affected by that? Talk about that a little bit. In other words, what, how, how is that bad? Well, the thing is, is that, uh, you know, we live in a democracy uh, and no matter what you want to call the societies we live in, uh, what's really important for us uh, to live our lives is to get inform information, information about where we live, uh, information about how we can uh, become educated, uh, make choices uh, in our lives. We have to make a living. Um, so information is, is really the pillar of any society, especially a democratic society. Uh, here in the United States, uh, democracy was based upon journalism, uh, the right to information, the freedom to information. And uh, so when we understand that information is the most important things, uh, thing in our lives, uh, it's important for us to get that right information. And when it's filtered through corporations or through conglomerates, whose main interest is profit uh, and who have other interests as well. It's not only the media that, uh, or news organizations that they own and run. Uh, some of these conglomerates have other business interests like uh, defense contracts or they make uh, 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 nuclear energy uh, or they make weaponry. Uh, so we have to know this and, and that's the problem is that when information is filtered through these corporations we don't actually get the real truth to, uh, to stories and uh, we need to get down to the truth because uh, that's the most important thing. That's how we can make proper decisions about who we vote for in elections. About and I think a lot of times also it's not as overt in other words as a casual consumer of media yeah. one might not realize you know i remember when the deep water horizon oil spill happened and within days right after wolf blitzer says we'll take a break with more information about deep water horizon after this then a bp commercial comes on yes. that was kind of for a lot of people they really saw it right it was it was a very clear connection of the problem but throughout the year on an ongoing basis i don't think people necessarily realize those conflicts of interest when they just casually consume news uh, you're absolutely right, and I guess that's w part of the reason why we wanted to make the film was really to, to bring awareness to how deep the problem is and, and, and how much control uh, these corporations have. And exactly, it's not black and white anymore. I mean, uh, we look at uh, dictatorships uh, around the world uh, uh, and throughout history, you know, it used to be black and white. We, you know, we knew that uh, the person in power was a dictator, uh, controlled all the newspapers, and uh, the citizens 
uh, living within that dictatorship knew that. You know, right. it, it was a very black and white kind of decision they had to make. Whereas now, uh, the propaganda through these corporations uh, has become so sophisticated that it's very hard for us to notice. And if you watch our film Shadows of Liberty, uh, you can see to the extent uh, how far uh, these corporations go to uh, make up their stories and, and to also follow uh, you know, government lines, official lines, official sources, these kinds of things that uh, a lot of the time leads us to more war, leads us to more corruption. Um, we follow this in, in the film uh, by looking at journalists who are trying to report uh, the truth out of stories, uh, uh, stories out of uh, wars that are happening around the world, uh, corporations running businesses around the world, and we see that when these journalists um, report on power, they're stopped to do their reporting and they're brushed aside and they're uh, uh, done by these very extremely powerful institutions such as the American government and the corporations that support it. The film is Shadows of Liberty. John Philippe Tremblay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, David.